the time has finally come. The windshield is coming out. The last big battle in my endless rust war is to tackle all of this rust around the windshield. But I'm no professional. I don't have any special tools to do it. So I'm gonna do it with some easy to access items. And we start by removing this trim. Next, we remove the outside trim by using a little heat. And finally, we remove the wipers and the hood. That was proving to be a little bit too hard to do on my own. So I recruited some help from my mom and now the only thing we have left is to remove this trim and then we move on to the glass. So let's keep going. And this is a little bit crunchy. And now to the main event of removing the glass. We're gonna start by using a blade and cutting a slit in the urethane that's holding the glass to the van. Um, and a little heat might make this process a little bit easier. Because this thing is hard. <laughs> Now that the slit's done, we're gonna try shoving through that gap some old bicycle brake wire that I had lying around. And I used an old broomstick to make a little handle to help with the sawing motion afterwards. But first, let's see if we can push this through. Now that the glass is out, I'm gonna use a little blade to get rid of all of this leftover polyurethane before I can send all of this to clean bare metal. Which looks like it's gonna be a little bit of work because this is a little bit worse than I thought it would be. Which seems to be the norm for this whole vent conversion.
Since the frame of the window on the sides and the top is in reasonable shape, considering, <laughs> I'm gonna finish sanding them and then move on with the sealing of the metal process, which is gonna begin with rust converter and then primer and then paint. Once that's done, we're gonna give a little special attention to this bar right here. Cause this one, uh, let's just say is not in great shape. Now we let that dry overnight and tomorrow we paint with primer. There must be some sort of curse on my van because every time I start working it starts raining. Now I gotta wait for a few hours gap in this rain so I can prime the metal and hope that it's still okay once that happens. I wasn't expecting the converter to turn this black, but I guess it's doing something. <laughs> uh, let's paint the primer. been a few hours of sanding. I've sanded this to shiny bare metal or at least as much as I'm going to be able to and now I'm going to fix some of these holes with a metal epoxy. And through the power of editing, it's been 12 hours and everything is cured. So let's see how the little band-aids have worked. Everything looks good. So now let's sand it into shape. At this point, this is basically a game of fix for a little bit and then wait for a while. And cross your fingers and hope it doesn't rain in the meantime. But I've just now treated the rust on the bottom frame of the windshield. Now I need to wait for it to cure. And then we prime. Before we move on, the paint. There's still some divots from the rust 
that I want to fix. So we're going to get some body filler ready and level all of this so I can get it flat and seamless and perfect before the fresh coat of paint. And now that this is all flat, nice and pretty, we just gotta wipe all of this dust away and we can finally paint and then get ready for the glass man to put the glass on. <laughs> And now that everything is painted, we wait for the glass man. And then our job is complete. Don't forget to put this trim back in before you put the glass, because then it's going to be really hard to put it. Now we put the glass. Finally, after waiting for a couple months for the glass man, getting rid of the mustache and having a cold, we have a brand new windshield on the van. Yay! <laughs> You can technically use the same windshield that you take out, but mine had a previous crack in it before I took it out. And so that's the whole reason for activating insurances and having to wait for so long for the glass man to come. But disregarding all of that, if this video was in any way helpful, please drop a like and remember to subscribe to the channel so you can follow along the whole process of converting this old van into an amazing camper. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.